Hi everyone, welcome back to the Barcode Arena YouTube channel. The video today, we are walking you through how to set up the Windows Mobile 5.0 operating system onto your Wi-Fi network. When Mobile 5.0 comes on the MC9090G series scan gun that you'll see so often, and the MC7090 series, MC70, 7094, 7095, those are all just sub-variants of the master model series, MC70, and here's an MC9090 short over here as well. Uh, we're just going to jump right into it and show you how to do this. I'm running this on an MC7090, which is running all the newest Windows updates for the Wi-Fi radio and operating system, and let's go here. So first things first, click Start Menu, Settings, connections and click your wireless manager first make sure your Wi-Fi radio is on a lot of times it's gonna be off like this so just click it on done click Wi-Fi here and go ahead and change your network card connects to the internet it's a more open setting for a broader range of Wi-Fi networks Browsing the web is going to be smoother, um, just a little more open. Click OK. And for Windows Mobile 5.0, we're going to have and recommend that you guys come into the system and power here and change the CPU power to max performance. Um, Windows Mobile 5.0 is a little bit older, so you're going to have to open up and maximize the settings so it's going to force itself onto your Wi-Fi network. Part of the reason they came out with Windows Mobile 6.1 is to roll up newer updates into the Wi-Fi. Um, you don't have to get it on that OS. Windows Mobile 5.0 works fine, you just have to know what you're doing. So we're also going to uncheck timeout because when it times out it's going to disconnect from Wi-Fi and we want to dictate when we're putting the device to sleep by just tapping the red power key here or here or here is how you would put the device to sleep just like you'd pop the power key on your smartphone. Um, go ahead and OK to save and we're gonna back out here this is your Wi-Fi radio with the X over it this is your home base for managing everything Wi-Fi so click that pop open the options, drop down your options list, click regulatory, uncheck that box, always turn it off. Most networks won't allow you to log on when you've got that enabled. Uh, band selection right underneath regulatory, turn on 5 gigahertz so you've got both networks. Save. Drop down here, all the way at the bottom, export these options so you don't have to save the redo so you don't have to redo these settings over and over click OK click your Wi-Fi radio and I'm in a USB cradle so the Wi-Fi radio might buck me a little bit because the USB connectivity is going to disable the radio so I'm gonna kick it on and off just for the purposes of I need to do that since I'm USB connected I'm gonna turn it on Hopefully it plays nice. Open your settings. At the top, click Find Wireless Local Area Networks. And make sure you check with your network administrator on what security mode and encryption type your network is so that you're not making any mistakes when you set up your profile here and you'll see how that comes into play. So here's our Wi-Fi networks. These are going to pull up a lot of networks. Just tap yours. Once you've highlighted it like so, hold your stylus over it to right-click it and click Connect. Here's your setup wizard for your Wi-Fi. So the name is going to be the broadcasted name of your network. Click Next. Country, because it's Windows Mobile 5.0, I we do like to recommend that you set it to the country that you're in. It's just going to be that much more detailed for your 
routers and access points to authenticate the device. Operating mode, leave that at infrastructure, click next. Authentication. We're going to be none in this case. If you're doing a WPA or a WPA2 or a WEP, which are the three most common security modes that you're always going to see most likely, just keep authentication at none. Our encryption, we're doing a WPA2 mixed mode that's AES encrypted. So this is where you need to check your network. Anybody who's capable of logging into your access points, have them log in and check whether your TKIP encryption or AES. We're AES, so I'll select that and click Next. Here's our pass key. IP address entry, we're going to do automatic DHCP. If For more advanced networkers, you can do a static um, this will be the easiest setup. DHCP transmit power, leave that at automatic. Battery usage, we do CAM, it's the highest performance setting. Click finish. Then what you want to do is highlight this dummy default profile. Right click it, disable it, so that you're not constantly trying to reconnect to that network. Then close that out, you can see we're connected. Click your wireless radio one more time. Click Options, drop down all the way to the bottom, and export your profile. Just click Export All Profiles here so that you never have to set this up again. <laughs> and that is a success. That is how you set up Windows Mobile 5.0 on your Wi-Fi network. Thanks, guys. Bye.